Good morning, friends, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben. Nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to the bright side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on the bright side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 32 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. We want to be your go-to source for all things nutrition. If you have a comment or success story you'd like to share, we love hearing those as well. Questions about the longevity products, our Truth Skin Health products. Call 844-236-6010. We'll get your calls in our second segment. Sanjeev Javia from Longevity will be talking about his uh, CBD formulations, the Amp FX products from Longevity at the bottom of the hour. There's three new CBD products which are available in most states. Some states it's still hard to find. Sanjeev will tell us about that. He's got three new products. One is a sleep formula, Relax, Hemp FX Relax. Another is a mood enhancement formula. Hemp FX Uplift, and then there's a topical cream for muscle pain, Hemp FX Soothe, and these are all uh, available in most states from the Longevity website. Sanjeev will talk about CBD. He's been formulating products for a long time, and he's a good friend of mine as well, and we'll talk to him at the bottom of the hour. We'll get your calls in our second segment, 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase Longevity products, go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, or even better, if you want to sign up to join the Brightside Ben team, if you want to start a Longevity business, if you're an entrepreneur, if you want to work out of your home, if you just want to get your products at the wholesale price. Call 866-735-2470 for info or click on the Join the Team link at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Okay, so we are talking about GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disease, also known as heartburn, a nasty splashback that comes back into the esophagus or into the mouth from the stomach. The stomach gets blamed, the acid gets blamed, but it's more of an intestinal problem as we've been talking about. GERD is more of an intestinal problem, and this is what accounts for really the medical model's failure at treating it, with the exception of so-called PPI drugs, proton pump inhibitor drugs, Nexium, Prilosec. Do you know almost half of Americans suffer from heartburn at least once a month? That's a lot of people. That's millions millions of Americans, tens of millions, maybe 100 million Americans suffer from heartburn once a month. And so it's no wonder that these companies or drug companies are falling all over themselves to come out with proton pump inhibitors and to try to get them, uh, to try to get us to use them with commercials, uh, endless commercials for antacids. I, I noticed that when I was working in nurse, nursing homes that um, when I was a kid, well, when I was in my 20s, I worked in nursing homes as a pharmacist. And I noticed that almost everybody in the nursing home was on antacids. Their body were shutting down, their bodies were slowing down, all the signs of aging were kicking in, but they were making too much acid, supposedly. That's when I, I got the idea, that when, you're, when you're old, when you're elderly, when you're in a nursing home, you're not making too much of anything. Everything is slowing down. Heartburn, GERD, cannot be a problem of too much acid because it happens to people as they age. And as we age, it's rare that you make more of, more of something, with, so I started to explore it. And what I found out was almost all cases of GERD and heartburn are associated with eating the wrong foods. 
and it's less about stomach acid as it is about a, a, a loose sphincter and, uh, and an intestinal reaction. And so while you take PPI drugs, Nexium, Prilosec, or the old style Tagamet and Zantac, which are still around, of course, or even uh, um, Pepto-Bismol or general digestive tonics that don't work specifically on the acid system, whatever it is, not only are you not going to get better, but the chances are you're going to run into side effects and toxicity. PPIs in particular are associated with kidney disease, dementia, osteoporosis, which of course makes sense because you need acid. Suppressing acid artificially, pharmacologically is a very bad idea and just another example of the ultimate health stupidity, yes I said stupidity, of the medical model and unfortunately those who represent it. The absolute health ignorance. Yes, you can take care of the symptoms, obviously, if you take Prilosec or Nexium. And if you have chronic GERD and you're eating the wrong foods and you don't know what's causing it and you have heartburn every night, I can see why you would take a PPI. I can see why we would take Nexium. It shuts down the acid and, you know, you don't have to deal with the problem. However, <laughs> excuse me, however, in the long run... You're not going to be able to absorb vitamin B12. You're not going to be able to absorb calcium. You're not going to be able to absorb selenium. And even worse, you're going to run into problems downstream with bile, with your pancreas, with your intestine. This is how drugs work, folks. And this is why I am a pharmacist that recommends people don't take drugs. I know that sounds like an oxymoron, but the fact of the matter is the more you learn about drugs, the less you want to take them or the less you want to suggest them or the less you confidence you have in them. I got a letter from some guy. He wrote me a note, and he was nice about it, but he said, Ben, you call drugs, all drugs poisons. What about if somebody has heart disease? Shouldn't he take a beta blocker? What if somebody has an autoimmune disease? Don't they need a steroid? This is what the guy wrote to me. And, and this is the kind of position that, I, uh, that a lot of people take. I, and I hear this once in a while. I got a, a letter from a guy who stopped writing me, but he was writing me every month, really upset with me and Dr. Wallach for us going on coast to coast and talking about drugs and talking about the, the stupidity of the medical model. And this guy was really upset. He was so upset, he actually called the State Board of Pharmacy in Colorado and complained about me. And I had to go write a letter to the State Board explaining my position. And he, he, this guy was a, is a quadriplegic or paraplegic, I forget. And, and I know this because I've never talked to him, but he's just sent me emails back and forth, nasty ones at that. And uh, anyway, he's a paraplegic or quadriplegic, and he said, I was, drugs saved my life. My blood thinners, without my blood thinners, I would end up with a stroke. How dare you rip on drugs? How dare you rip on the medical model? And this is the kind of position people take. But what they miss is the fact that you wouldn't be in the pickle where you need the drugs if you took care of yourself in other ways. Now, if you're quadriplegic and paraplegic, I can understand if your body is that broken down, that's one thing. But for most people who are taking a drug chronically, they're taking it to control a statistic, to control a number, to reduce a risk. This is what medicine has devolved itself to, not helping us out of a pinch, not getting us out of a jam, but lowering our risks, which are... Uh, a cal which are uh, uh, calculated by self-serving statisticians who work for drug companies. These risk management drugs like statin drugs, like most beta blockers and blood pressure drugs, and most of the drugs we take are not there to make us live longer. They're there to reduce our risk or they're there to hide a symptom like a PPI drug. I say, let's figure out what the what's causing the symptom. In case of heartburn, it's going to be foods. That's the first thing. Do you know what, you guys? No matter what your health challenge is, the first thing is going to be food. No matter what your health challenge is. This gets to the idea of what I call, or what's been called, simplexity. Simplexity is the idea that at the most, underneath the most complex phenomena, you have simple ideas. Underneath the most complex uh, demonstrable phenomena, things you could see, like reality for that matter, or your computer, you have zeros and ones. You have ons and offs. And underneath all of the symptoms of the body, all of the various ways the body can break down, all the various diagnoses, you will find a messed up digestive system, a messed up blood sugar system, and a unstable adrenal thyroid complex. And if you could approach those three points, starting with the digestive system, there isn't a single health challenge that cannot be resolved. All right, I'm Pharmacist Spend, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls in our next segment. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Okay, we are back. 
back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Lines open at 844-236-6010. We'll get your calls this segment. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, health, health issues or longevity questions or comments or success story, comments or success stories about our truth treatment products at truthtreatments.com. Longevity products can be purchased by calling 866-735-2470 or by uh, heading to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Got Sanjeev Javia talking some CBD, cannabidiol. Man, that stuff's absolutely mind-blowing. I am I'm floored by the efficacy and the power of CBD. I mean, I knew, I've been studying CBD for a long time and endocannabinoids literally for 30 plus years since pharmacy school, but man, I have seen the most incredible things happening with CBD in terms of pain relief, in terms of seizure disorders, in terms of digestive problems, in terms of anxiety and sleep issues, in terms of blood sugar from uh, CBD over the last maybe year, year and a half that it's been popular. And we'll talk to Sanjeev about the three new CBD products from Longevity. In our next segment, let's hit the phones, 844-236-6010, and talk to my OCD friend, Jeff. I knew you'd be calling. Jeff, what's up, my man? Ben, how's it going? Can you hear me all right? Hear you great. I'm very excited. Let, let's set the table. Uh, Jeff, uh, talked. we talked to Jeff a couple days ago. He said he had a great success story, which I'm totally excited to hear. Told him to call back uh, for, uh, on th- uh, Thursday today. And there's Jeff on the phone. So let it rip, Jeff. I'm really excited to hear what you have to say. Did you, did you get my email? You know, I did not get your email. Oh, yeah, yeah. No worries, Morris. Yeah, see, the, this is a great thing. This is the greatest thing ever. It's so great. It makes you want to cry like a girl. I'm okay, really go ahead. Let's, about what I let's do. hear. Um, let's hear. And this, shows, and this show that we're doing uh, is going to go out to thousands of people that have epilepsy and seizures, showing them that there is definitely hope. Uh, yeah, just give me the backstory real quick. My buddy Tim... Caesar, since he was 12 years old, past 39 years. Uh, 1992, went in to have uh, diagnosed with AVM. So he had his right partial uh, lobectomy removed, uh, a quarter of the, the uh, temporal lobe removed. A few, le- few weeks later, he got an infection, staph infection, a cerebral meningitis that removed the bone flap, um, emergency surgery. And it's getting worse. And then in 1996, he was diagnosed with status. Um, Epilexia. Don't 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 give Jeff no no fancy fancy diagnosis. Nobody's going to understand. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. And then, Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Then in 2000, he had a vagus nerve implant. Then he had his lung removed from a. So the guy's a mess. The guy the guy is a mess. He's falling apart. Okay? Yeah. But the one yeah the one thing with Tim and no, he's the most incredible discipline willpower. This guy has been through everything. He's going to have to go to assisted living. That's awesome. A seizure dog. Um. So it sparked. You know it, that. Um, He's going to have a seizure dog. I mean, he speaks in front of schools about it. And uh, he was having, before, 22 days ago, he was having multiple partial seizures, turning into grand mal seizures, three to four a day, 60 to 90 a month. And guess what? Today, day 22, he is uh, seizure-free. What did, tell me what he did. What, he did. How did he, uh, what I did this? was, I, yeah, being understanding that I do, being understanding that I understand how energy and everything works, I um, was able to, uh, I knew what it, when it comes to seizure, hypoxia, the electric system, not processing energy, too much body weight, and had to, we had to calm the body down for this. Nice, so nice, What I nice, did, nice. First, uh, first three days I had him fast with just lemon water only. He got through that, no problem. The next three days, vegetable juice only with Himalayan salt, MCT, and apple cider vinegar before each juice. Nice. Okay, he did that. I had him load a... Uh, I had him load a breathing app on his phone that notifies him every 30 minutes of slow, deep, rhythmic breathing every 30 nice. minutes. So you're doing everything for the bright side. These are, these are all the things we talk about. Yeah. Remember, I've listened to three and a half years of shows in, one uh, and a half, in, a, in a year and a half. Got it, got it, um, got it got He started working. I made sure he's having the BTT electrolytes throughout the day with water. Um, and then we slowly started introducing like eggs, flaxseed. Avocado um, into the nice. mix, so keeping the energy and keeping the aller- uh, the um, uh, calories very very low. I got my nice. vitamin E, 400 milligrams a day, 20,000 I use the vitamin A, NAC, omega nice. three three times a day, 2,000 milligrams of D2, I mean D3, flaxseed, and uh, wow. three times a day. So you put them on uh, a whole program. 20, you you put them on a whole program. Yeah, I am crazy about all. And within this next and last. Uh, Within this 22 days, I had him fast for another 48 hours. He likes fasting. He doesn't mind at all. Oh, that's fasting. awesome. 
That's and awesome. Being that, he, being that he's home, I've had him working out three to um, working out three or four times a day for about 15 minutes each time. That's so, so cool, he's Jeff. Totally, so hey, can I talk to the, the guy? Can I talk What's to the that? guy? Can I talk to no, the guy? Yeah, can I talk you, to your friend? Yeah, can you well, have I'm him call me? We can maybe step well, yeah, maybe yeah, I, I want to talk to him. Sometime. I want to talk to him. It's a great story. So uh, this is what I need you to do. I don't know if you sent the email to Ben at KSCO.com. I don't remember I getting did. it. All right. So, uh, I you did. know, would you mind sending it again? And I'll check. Send it again now. And I'll, okay. I'll look for it now. Okay. Because I get so many emails, they get lost. So, I so know, send it right now. This is, just like, this is like a miracle from God. Been 22 uh, days. Caesar Free feels great and lost 25 pounds. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's a great story. I want to talk to him. Hey, I want to get one more call in before the break, Jeff, but send me an email, okay? Okay, I'll with, send it to you right with now. With your phone number. Put your phone number in it. Perfect. All right. Thank you so All right, much, buddy. Ben. This is awesome. Thank you. God okay. bless you. Thanks, ben. That's awesome. Good okay. work. That's a great story. That's what's possible. That is what's possible. That's why I do this program, you guys. It's because I've seen this over and over and over again, like I say at the beginning of the program. You're going to think it's a miracle, but it's just the way the body works. Nobody has to be subjected to long-term chronic de uh, 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 degenerative disease because the body is a regenerating system. You just got to hack into it and figure out what's causing the degeneration and then reverse the problem. Put the good stuff in, kick the bad stuff out. It really is that simple. All right, let's get to one more before we go to our break. Wilhelmina in the Virgin Islands. Good morning, Wilhelmina. Will How are you doing? Good morning. I'm doing well, thank you. What's going on in the Virgin Islands today? How can we help you? Very sunny, very sunny down here. And I see yes, um, um, I've been working um, on a job with some chemical, well, cleaning products. And from that, I have a lot of mucus coming from my throat. It's it a different uh, way. Okay, so let me, Wilhelmina, let me repeat back to so make sure I understand. Yeah. You're working yeah. with cleaning products and you're getting a lot of mucus in your throat. Yeah, it's a little bit dry cough, but no, it's a lot of okay. mucus. Yeah, yeah, your body's reacting. Your body's definitely reacting. So here's what you want to do, a couple of things. Ideally, get rid of the cleaning products. Use cleaning okay. products that aren't toxic. That's the best solution. In the meantime, you want to be cranking the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Get that from mm -hmm. uh, off the website, uh, brightsideben.com. Uh, and then you probably want to take extra vitamin C. I throw in extra vitamin C. Uh, you might want to consider the Fucoid Z from Longevity and the Ultimate Selenium from Longevity. Those are both okay. important for the immune system. And then anything you can do to help your liver, NAC, go to the health food store, get that, 500 milligrams a day. Uh, you might want to consider getting something, uh, getting uh, nutrients that help you build glutathione. Glutathione is uh, your body's de major detoxifier. So get some glutamine powder, do 100 milligrams, 200 milligrams a day. Actually, capsules, 100 milligrams, sorry, 1,000 milligrams to 2,000 milligrams a day of glutamine powder. And then also, uh, yeah, and then also uh, vitamin E, 400 international units a day. Alpha lipoic acid, 400 milligrams a day. I'm going fast, but you can get this off the, off the archives. Vitamin, uh, zinc, uh, zinc picolinate, 50 milligrams a day. Copper, two milligrams a day. These are all in the interest of building up the liver. You know what else? You can get my blemish repair complex at truthtreatments.com, and that's got all your major liver nutrients in it. I made my blemish repair complex and formulated it as a liver detox supplement. So it's got lots of lots of detoxification benefits. That's what you're looking at, Wilhelmina. Got to go. I'm sorry. I hope I helped you out. We got Sanjeev Javia coming up at the bottom of the hour. We're going to talk some hemp CBD. We'll be back on the bright side right after this. Okay, we're back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central, and 24-7 at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. You can purchase longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And don't forget about, about our Truth Skin Health products, our Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Transdermal C Serum, Truth Transdermal C Balm, Truth Omega 6 Healing Cream, and our new cleansers and biomimetic mineral mist and supplements are all up at truthtreatments.com. Truthtreatments.com. So you guys know I've been talking about CBD for a long time. I've been studying the, the cannabinoid system for many years. So it's no surprise to me about the just crazy effectiveness, although I have to say I didn't expect it to be that amazing. The things that, you're, that CBD is being used for and that's being, uh, that it's working on 
are really, it's just so amazing. That's because the cannabinoid system is very fundamental. It's a very basic system in the body. Longevity's got three new CBD products, Hemp FX, the line's called Hemp FX, Soothe, Relax, and Uplift, and they were formulated by my good friend, Sanjeev Javia, who I've known for many years. And we're gonna talk a little bit about CBD and a little bit about the Hemp FX. Hemp FX line with Sanjeev. Good morning, Jeevers. Good morning. How's How it going, buddy? Good to talk to you again. I am honored. This is my first time being on uh, Brightside Ben. So thank All right. Well, I so hope it's much. not the last so time. We'll t- we got lots of stuff we could talk about. But for now, how did you, uh, how did you get to love CBD? You know, um, I do a lot of work with um, Chinese traditional medicine and Ayurvedic medicine. And just recently I met a physician, Dr. La. They just did a documentary on him called The Doctor from India. And um, he was kind of the individual who brought Ayurveda to the U.S. And um, in some of his teachings and some of the stuff that he was talking about, he was talking about hemp. And he was talking about how hemp is used in Ayurveda as a balancing nutrient and um, the, the, the whole principle of homeostasis. And I started, I mean, obviously knew a lot about what was happening with the whole medical marijuana and um, hemp and CBD. And I just started digging into it and realized, like you said, I can't believe just how powerful of a nutrient this is. Snake oil-like. I, I love how you talked about it in your talk. You said it's like snake oil. Somebody would, just, would come up to you and say, it's good for this, it's good for that. You'd be really skeptical. But that's true about CBD, right? Yeah, that's what's so amazing is that, you no, know, I know snake oil has a, um, um, it's a bad term, right? Because right. Really Even though, like, ironically, can... snake oil is very medicinal. I don't know if you knew that. <laughs> You're, so, no, no, but great point, great point. Snake, snake I mean, oil is really healing stuff. But, yeah, but go ahead. Exactly. Well, I mean, you know, it's got this connotation. The reason why it has a bad connotation is because it's hard for people to grasp the fact that there could be one nutrient or one set of nutrients or one something that can do everything, a panacea, if you will, yeah. right? Yeah. But, buddy, isn't that what nutrition is? Right? Really yeah. healthy nutrition is a That's panacea very good point. for all Like of vitamin it, right? C, for vitamin C for cancer, for the immune system, for the skin, for the liver, for the heart, for diabetics, etc. And it's just one vitamin. I, I, always, I had this saying that drugs, uh, that nutrients are what drugs dream they could be. Because, I love that. Right? Because a drug, when you're working in a drug company, if you're coming up with drugs, you're looking for something that's got incredible benefits with, mid, with minimal toxicity or side effects. That's a dream drug. And that's what you're getting when you get uh, nutrients. That's what nutrients are. And that's also what this stuff is, too. So, in a way, CBD is almost like a nutrient, wouldn't you say? Or, or cannabinoids. Exactly. It's like nutrients. Yeah, you're exactly yeah, you're exactly right. And the reason the reason why nutrition is a panacea like CBD is what you said earlier, is that does your body have an innate system that is already built to take in that element? The reason yeah. why pharmaceuticals aren't right. panaceas or they can't is because there's no existing system in the body, That's right. an innate system that, well, guess what? Cannaboids, cannaboids are actually have that innate system. Yes. And that's why it's shown all of these. That's things. amazing. And you know what? The drugs are not only there's no innate system and the body can't use them. The body wants them out quickly. That's why <laughs> yeah. diarrhea and nausea and vomiting happen with drugs, right? It's the number one side effect is nausea and vomiting. It's because exactly. the, the body wants it out quickly. <laughs> So, yeah, but with yeah. CBD, the body can actually utilize it, if not in the structural part of the body, in the metabolic and the chemistry part of the body. The C- it has been waiting. Just like nutrition, it is waiting every day to take in this type of nutrition yeah. and nutrient. But yeah, unfortunately, good... it's not easy to get these nutrients because the places where they're found are not things that people traditionally consume in this country. Such and as? In, in, in some other countries, right? Like, like give, me mean, get, give me an example. Sure. sure. So, so echinacea, flax, coca, you know, all of these things that, you know, have existing cannabinoids, plants. Did you say plants, cocoa or things. coca? Did you say cocoa or coca? Uh, coca, coca, coca okay. bean, right? So, yeah. so it's, um, um, and, and, and the, major, the major thing is where are most of these cannabinoids? They're in plants. And yeah. for, for a lot of reasons, this country and other countries don't consume a lot of vegeta- vegetables and plant-based nutrition. 
right? Uh-huh. And so therefore we become, you said it best, buddy, when we give the free, you, we And I agree with you. In the next few years, we're going to find that there is a cannabinoid deficiency. That's Not just very like good. a vitamin D deficiency, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, where people walk around cannabinoid deficient, and that means they're more hyper because cannabinoids have a stabilizing effect. I love how you said balance, and I notice you, that's a big thing for you is that cannabinoids help balance things out because you don't like the idea that they just zonk you out, right? You, you, exactly. It's more like they're it's more like they're adaptogenic. Hey, buddy, I love you saying it. You're exactly right. We have to understand that at the very end of the day, the reason why we have the illnesses and the diseases and the traumas that we do is because there is too much volatility and chaos in yeah. our body. Yeah. So it's important not to, not to uh, a, a compromise or to, uh, um, I don't know what the word is, to, to push down that uh, suppress. Uh, trauma. To suppress. suppress. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Suppress. It's to balance. It's to create balance in the body. Yeah. This is why, bud, we're the you know, Chinese traditional medicine, Ayurvedic medicine, all of these Eastern philosophies that look at the root causes of diseases and illnesses have always used hemp and, you know, is that amazing? CBD that's in hemp. Yeah. The hemp, the hemp plant has been recognized for its medicinal value for thousands upon thousands of years since the, the Chinese. And then the Indians stole it, I heard. Is that true? <laughs> Tell your dad. I once, <laughs> I once sat on a plane next to some Indian guy, and he was telling me how all, the Indians discovered everything. <laughs> he fled India. That's my dad. That was my <laughs> That's dad. Right. Oh, when you talk too. about your dad, I think of this guy sat next to on the plane. Everything. And the Chinese took <laughs> That's why. Well, they came up with a lot. We'll give we'll give them credit for that. All right. So I want to talk. We got to take a break, but I want to talk about specifically about the Hemp FX products, uh, the Soothe, the Relax, and the Uplift. You formulated all of these. The Soothe is a topical cream. The Relax is a, a sleep formula, and the Uplift is for mood. And the, the, there's lots of other things. You could have done an anti-diabetic one, right? And you could have done yes. the cognitive one for dementia. But you could use these. You could use these products for all that. Correct. Oh, for sure. Remember, that's the neat thing about CBD and cannabinoid is that because these receptors are all over the body, they're yeah. going to help wherever there is imbalance. All right, we got to take a break, Sanjeev. We'll come back and talk about these specific products when we come back. We're talking to Sanjeev Javia from Longevity about the Hemp FX line, Uplift, Soothe, and Relax. We'll take a quick break and come back with more good health information on the Bright Side right after this. Back on the bright side, we're talking to Sanjeev Javia from Longevity. Sanjeev, uh, I've known Sanjeev for many years, for probably, I don't know, 15, 16 years, maybe more. Uh, Sanjeev has formulated uh, three products, Hemp FX. The line is called the Hemp FX line. Uplift, soothe, and relax. Sanjeev, let's talk about, uh, well, first of all, but let's talk about generally the CBD products in general. W- w- what's the difference between full spectrum and isolate, isolates, and why is that important? What are yeah, they, so, uh, and what's the di- what are they? What's the difference, and why are they important? Sure, sure. So, so I think that um, so so hemp, okay, hemp the plant, okay. Um, um, you derive an oil from that hemp plant, just like with like echinacea or any lavender or rosemary. You're gonna uh, grab oil from those plants, and that oil is going to not only have some active components like these cannabinoids, but they're also going to have some other things such as bioflavonoids, vitamins, and minerals, and all that sort of stuff. Well, people associate CBD with hemp, but they have to understand that CBD is just one molecule that's in hemp. And even though it's incredibly valuable and it's powerful and it's got a lot of research, it's only one of hundreds of nutrients that are in that hemp oil. So the difference between full-spectrum uh, hemp oil that um, and CBD isolate is full-spectrum hemp oil is going to have all of the minerals. It's going to have CBD, it's going to have CBC, CBG. There's 80 to 100 different cannabinoids along with, you know, multiple uh, hundreds of these nutrients called terpenes that are very uh, valuable for those of you that use essential oils. The reason why you use essential oils is because they have these terpenes, along with these bioflavonoids and vitamins and minerals and all that sort of stuff. And then isolated CBD is just 
taking the CBD from that hemp oil and um, and just isolating it, basically. You know, so it's you kind lose of almost a very pharmaceutical way. You know, so you lose a lot of potential benefits that you would get from the full spectrum if you just try to do the isolate. You really do, bud. It's almost like, you know, I believe that the orange is more valuable than the vitamin C. I totally get that. Right? So yeah. Because the oranges have 120 other bioactive yeah. components that can be beneficial, Great. not only to you, but maybe even to that vitamin C, you know? So you, you get, in the Hemp FX products, you get the full spectrum, correct? Exactly. So, so we've used a full spectrum. It's called full spectrum hemp oil, the full, the full name of it, kind of a long name, is phytocannabinoid rich full spectrum hemp oil. And the reason why those words are really important is because even though there are other full spectrum products on the market, they may not have developed a source that is going to provide the concentration of cannabinoids and mm. what we've done with our plant. So this, these are these are more highly concentrated. All the different cannabinoids are more highly concentrated than in other products. So there's a concentration benefit. Exactly. Think of almost like let's use that example of an orange, right? You could make an orange, and the reason why these genetically modified uh, oranges are so bad and such is that they're making these bigger oranges, if you will, that have the same level of nutrition as some of these smaller oranges. Uh, okay? So it's right? less concentrated. Less concentrated. And so you can actually create an orange that has all of the same nutrients but a high concentration density of those nutrients. And then not only that, you can create an orange naturally, by the way, that has a certain certain nutrients that are of higher value. So, for example, you can. What we've done is our source of hemp actually has a specific ratio of certain cannabinoids, terpenes, mm. et cetera, et cetera. Now, that's, now talk, talk real quickly about the terpenes, real quickly, because I want to get into the products, but just get, sure. in a nutshell. What is this thing called? I keep hearing about terpenes, and I've used them sure. actually in the skincare world for a long time. So tell us a little what they are and why they're important. So what terpenes traditionally do is they provide the aroma of anything. And so that's why these essential oils, if you will, the aroma comes from these molecules called terpenes. However, they don't just provide aroma. They're also very synergistic to some of the key active nutrients in particular uh, uh, products or oils or foods or something like that. So, for example, what they began to find at the very beginning, everybody thought it was just the CBD that was valuable in hemp. Then they realized from further research that it wasn't just the CBD. It was all of these cannabinoids. It was the CBC, CBG, blah, blah, blah. Well, then with further research, they realized, wait a second, there's these set of molecules called terpenes that actually work in a very synergistic manner to the the CBD as well as other cannabinoids. And that's why you're getting this incredible power from certain extracts than others. Now, okay, so now let's talk about each one individually. We've only got a couple more minutes. We've got about five minutes here. So uh, uh, the, the one that's most intriguing to me, the uplift, that's the mood enhancement. Now, and when you, when you say mood enhancement, you're not, are you talking like an anti-anxiety, antidepressant, or are you just talking about just to feel good? It's exactly that. You know, when someone has less anxiety, when someone has obviously less depression and such, they have a more positive sense of wellness, right? And CBD and cannabinoids, they work on these receptors in the brain that are the same receptors where serotonin, dopamine, and some of these other feel-good hormones do. And so with the right combination of, of hemp oil and CBD, as well as some other uh, nutrients, we have St. John's Ward and some specific terpenes that are in that product, it provides that positive sense of wellness. Now, nobody's going to get high from this, right? No, exactly. Exactly. That's a whole different set of, um, of um, receptors and different cannabinoids, specifically THC, you know, right? That, right. That would, that's what produces the high. And here's the thing, Ben, you know this, that your body produces its own cannabinoids, yeah. endocannabinoids, yeah, right. yeah. and they sit in the same receptor sites as THC does, except yeah. they don't hit it the same way with the same intensity and they degrade a lot faster that's why you're not high all the time (laughs) but you do get there's a natural high there's like a runner's high and there's like a natural high that we get from our own endocannabinoid system 
Exactly, buddy. And those cannabinoids are hitting the same receptor site as the THC. It's just that it's not going to hit it at that intensity. And so you don't get, I mean, like I've had a runner's high. I don't. I mean, it's a high, but it's not like a super, super high. Okay, right? Right. And it goes away. Why? How about because, uh, how about uh, drug testing? Um, sorry, say that again. It, are these going to affect drug tests? If people have to take drug tests for their work or insurance or something, is this going to have no, a positive? No, not at all. Not okay. at all. Not at all. Remember, that drug testing is testing for the THC cannabinoid, mm. and we have made sure. And that's a great point you bring up. Our product have 100% transparency. We do uh, third-party testing to make sure that there's 0% THC in any of our products, in any of our material and sourcing. So people have to, if they want to get high, they got to do something else. They're not going to be able to get it from your hemp, from hemp FX, which is a good exactly. thing. Exactly. Okay. So now, exactly. now the sleep formula. Tell, tell us about that one. Oh, the sleep formula. So one of the key areas of benefit that uh, uh, a cannabinoids and CBD have is to calm the body. Remember, we talked about homeostasis. We talked about um, reducing the chaos and volatility in the body. And so, therefore, uh, sleep is one of the major areas of research that CBD has uh, shown to benefit. So what we've done is we've developed a tincture formula that you take, you know, uh, 10, 15 minutes before you go to bed, it goes under your tongue. And not only does it have the hemp oil and CBD, but it also has lavender, chamomile, valerian nice. root. These are specific herbs that help to calm the body and provide restfulness. Okay, real quick, the cream. The cream is incredible, Ben. I mean, let me tell you something. CBD's other area major of research is with pain, okay, right? And so CBD acts on these pain um, receptors to reduce the inflammation in soft tissue, in nerves, and in joints. And we not only added the hemp oil and CBD, we also have glutathione, arnica, white nice. willow bark. I mean, an nice. amazing set of other nutrients as well. Now, these are all, tell me about, we only got about uh, 10 seconds or so, availability. How can people get the products if they're interested? Yes, they're available through Longevity.com, and we currently ship to all of the major states that allow for this, but there are a few states like Idaho and Nebraska in which we don't ship to, and that's because the state legislation at this time doesn't allow CBD products. But trust me, I just talked to a huge law firm yesterday. That's all it's being relaxed here very soon. Okay, that's good. So, But if somebody goes to Longevity.com, they'll be able to order or not order it based on whatever their state regulations are at Longevity.com. Okay, good. Yep. Hey, we're out of time, Sanjeev. Thank you so much. Hope to see you again real soon. And thanks for these awesome products, HempFX. They're all available at uh, uh, Longevity.com. Thanks, Sanjeev. I'll talk to you soon, buddy. You bet. I appreciate it, Ben. Thanks so much. All right. Take care, man. All right. That's all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. The products are HempFX, available at uh, Longevity.com. Please check out our other products at BrightSideBen.com, PharmacistBen.com, and CriticalHealthNews.com, and TruthTreatments.com as well. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. Services